The first of the six most important steps you should take to prepare for missions is to abide in Christ. In John 15, Jesus said that He is the vine, we are the branches, and our Father is the one who prunes those branches. A very important part of John 15 starts where Jesus says this, If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. This is to my Father's glory that you bear much fruit, proving yourselves to be my disciples. I know that this is what I want to do. Abiding has multiple benefits. Firstly, we'll get what we wish for. Secondly, it'll be to our Father's glory. Thirdly, we'll bear much fruit in our lives, which is what we want to do anyway, isn't it? Fourthly, we'll prove to Jesus that we are His disciples. Amazing, isn't it? But what does it actually mean to abide or remain in Christ? It means spending big chunks of time with Jesus every single day. These times include personal worship, prayer, Bible study, and meditation. This spiritual discipline is the foundation for longevity and fruitfulness in ministry. Many missionaries even aim for what they call time tithing, which means spending a tenth of your waking hours with Jesus every day. This is about two hours. It sounds like a lot, but you can start short and work towards it. Just don't become legalistic about it. If you want to learn more about abiding, do our online workshop called Prayer and Ministry. It's free and it doesn't take long at all. Finally, as you abide in Christ, you will be able to agree with Jeremiah who said this, As your words came to me, I drank them in, and they filled my heart with joy and happiness, because I belong to you.